What's up guys, Michael here from High Def Digest with a first look at the brand new Samsung UBD K8500, which is the first Ultra HD player that we've got to test out in person and that has uh, been released. So very exciting stuff. Uh, purpose of this video, can't quite get into a review just yet because we don't have any discs. There are 20 titles, give or take, uh, coming from Sony, Lionsgate, Fox, and Warner Brothers, um, March 1st, 2016. So those will all be launching then. And, but we were able to get this a little early from BestBuy.com. So let's take a tour of the player, list off a few specs, and we'll get to the review and more information in the coming weeks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. So uh, this is box, uh, open it up. You got a little bit of protection with the new logo. Of course, Ultra HD, 4K resolution, uh, high dynamic range capabilities, Dolby Atmos, DTS-X and all of it, the video at least, is at 100 megabits per second, which is going to be, uh, basically, this is going to be the best video quality you can get in the home uh, and a little bit better than streaming. But of course, like all Blu-ray players, this machine is uh, also a media hub. It's a streaming hub. So the player is covered by nice protective materials. Inside, you're also going to find one user manual and one accessory kit uh, which houses the power cord and this new um, new remote so this is a pretty cool little remote I'm more of a universal remote guy uh, and we're gonna be testing out a brand new Logitech uh, Elite Harmony pretty soon uh, so we'll have that more information on that for you guys but uh, a pretty nice little remote it uh, fits nice in the hand no backlit buttons but uh, fits pretty nice Nice clicks, so a good kind of sensation for uh, for doing things. And uh, I kind of like that they went small. Most remotes are, you know, two or three times bigger, so pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a tour of the Universal Disc Player. So very exciting about this. Uh, out front, we've got the disc tray, of course, and a USB port right in there. And what's fun about this player is, is like I said, Samsung calls it the Universal Disc Player, which means it plays Ultra HD Blu-rays, it plays Blu-ray 3Ds, it plays Blu-rays, it plays DVDs and like DVD-Rs and DVD-RWs, and it also plays CDs, so you can play just about everything. Uh, it's of course ready to decode Dolby True HD, Do uh, DTS HD MA, uh, but if you bitstream those out, you can access Atmos and X. So, um, we've got kind of the power buttons, eject buttons and stuff over here. Uh, nothing really much else to help, just the logo. This obviously is going to peel off. Um, around back, uh, we've got uh, two HDMI outputs, uh, a LAN for Ethernet. There's also built-in Wi-Fi if you uh, prefer to do that. Optical digital out if you're not worried about lossless audio or uncompressed audio. And, of course, the, uh, the power plug. But this is very important for those who um, do not have a brand new receiver. So if, if it's not HDCP 2.2 uh, compatible, meaning it won't pass along the 4K signal, uh, if you don't have a receiver that has that, use this to send the audio out. You can still get DTS-X and Dolby Atmos and all those wonderful things, and you can use this uh, output to go directly to your display. So Samsung kind of uh, making this player backwards compatible for their customers so they don't have to spend lots of extra money because particularly if you're doing Atmos, those things can be... Both affordable in the, in the kind of 5.1.2 range, uh, but kind of pricey when you're heading up to 9 and 11 channels. So yeah, so that's the player. Um, also, you'll notice here, let's talk about, so in addition to 4K resolution, this player does HDR10, but not Dolby Vision. And of course, in addition to playing physical media, it does streaming, as most Blu-ray players do these days. Uh, so Netflix... Uh, and Amazon, their original content is going to have HDR. I think they're going to do more and more of that. Uh, Vudu has HDR. Uh, I'm not sure if it's only Dolby Vision or not, uh, but everybody's... Uh, we got Hulu, YouTube. They've got lots of great clips uh, in 4K resolution. MGO, Yup TV. So all the streaming services are here. All the apps. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's basically kind of it. It's going to be, you know, half physical media, half streaming device, all for 4K, all for HDR. And uh, and as far as looks and stuff, you know, I, I guess some people are upset that it's uh, curved. 
Oh, oh, hello, everybody. Uh, and, uh, you know, that literally doesn't bother me. Uh, you know, I think it's it's fairly subtle. Uh, like, the displays themselves, I guess, you know, a few years ago, they were really, really curved, and now they're kind of less so. Uh, this comes off, of course. Um, yeah, but it's a nice player, and it's probably, in terms of heft and thickness, it's probably akin to, like, a second-gen or, or third-gen Blu-ray player, where they were kind of getting skinnier, but not the huge heft of the first generation. I've seen this start up a disc before. It's not slow so we haven't gone backwards in terms of performance even though we're loading much more uh resolution and information with that 100 megabits per second capability so yeah that's the first player we're going to get to uh, reviewing this in depth um in the coming weeks when we get some of those movies 20 titles coming out march 1st excited to share this new technology with you guys because i know you're all passionate about this stuff and uh so there it is the samsung ubd k 8500 Cheers and thanks for watching.